hello students class 9th here today i am going first time to upload your videos from your first book behave and uh, your first poem now it is easy to explain and describe within half an hour so i am going to describe only poems explain only poems and after completion of all poems i shall think about the passage or prose lessons also so let us start here the road not taken your poems heading is the road not taken the road the that is a definite art article has been used before road noun so it is showing that poet is going to talk about any particular specific type of road and not taken means which has not been adopted which has not been trodden means the person such road which has not been walked on or adopted during the passage or voyage or during the travel by anyone means aisi road wo road jo jis pe koi chala na ho kabhi koi gaya na ho road not taken actually students robert frost is a english poet and uh, in this poem he has tries to show the universal the universal problem which usually occurs in life of each and every one usually what happens in our life that when we start to work or when we start to do something we face sometimes such problems whether to choose this thing or thing now we have preference for both of things or two or three more things simultaneously equally but we have option only to choose any one in that situation we hang between our goals like a pendulum so in same situation is in the life of robert frost and whatever he wants to say let's come to know by reading his poem so let us start two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear thou as far that the passing there had worn them really about the same and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to a i doubted if i should ever come back i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one least traveled by and that has made all the difference robert frost so now let us start one by one passes line by line for its explanation narrator poet the robert frost is saying that two roads diverse denial of two roads means the two paths two ways along with the poet is going and two roads diverse denial of wood actually what happens that poet is walking through a one road and in walking along with the road he reaches at the diverged part of the road means he reached from at such a point of the road from where that road is dividing into two parts diverged means here to be divided into two parts uh, in fork part and yellow in a yellow wood yellow means the wood where the blossom season is there so narrator is saying the two roads diverged in a yellow wood means poet poet is going along with a road and by uh, he reaches at such point of the road from where the road is dividing into fork in a yellow wood and sorry and here poet is regretting by the word saying sorry and sorry means he has remorse regret i could not travel both means poet 
is not able to travel both it is in your life also if you are going along along any road and after going up to some distance at one point your road is dividing into two part dividing into two directions into the fork shape then you will not be able to travel both you will not be able to adopt both roads but you shall have to choose any one in both of them to go to travel in same way in the life of poet in the travel of poet it is happening and he is regretting that he will be able to take travel only one path one road not both of them who which are diverging there and further he is saying that and be one traveler and be one traveler means the person poet is saying that and be one traveler that is after adopting one road and rejecting another पोएट कह रहे हैं कि वो एक रोड किसी एक रोड का यात्री हो सकते हैं दोनों कान और इसलिए किसी एक रोड का यात्री हो करके मीन्स हैविंग एडॉप्टेड वन रोड हैविंग डिसाइडेड दैट हिन पोएट विल और ही विल गो ऑन दिस रोड वन रोड लॉन्ग आई स्टूडेंट आफ्टर थिंकिंग सो एडॉप्टिंग वन रोड ही स्टार्टेड टू थिंक बाई स्टैंडिंग देयर एंड लुकड डाउन वन एज फार एज आई कुड एंड He thought lot of th- ideas, lot of meditations, wonders came in his mind about the another, another road, because poet is in doubt, in hesitation, which road should he be adopted and which should not be adopted by him, and if he would, he will choose one, then he w- will lose the chance to go on the another way, and if he chooses one, then another will be loses, and thus Veda. it it was possible or it is possible that he will lose by losing one road the chance of his life to hear it bent in the undergrowth to hear it bent in the undergrowth the word in the undergrowth bent in the undergrowth the word bent and after that phrase in the undergrowth is saying that the poet has adopted the one road and uh, after that he is saying that the another road which is going in the undergrowth means which has been covered by the shrubs bushes etc and this bent in the undergrowth word is showing that no one has adopted than that another way and poet is thinking which one should be adopted by him and for this purpose he you thinks or decides to adopt the road bent in the undergrowth means such road which has not been taken by some other one because you know very well that if any path any trail any way will be covered under growth only in such situation when no one will travel on, or no one had been travel traveling on that road and koi bhi us road pe us raste pe nahi jayega tabhi us road pe jo hai under growth yani jhad jhankhad aur jhadiya ug sakte hain natha nahi so poet has decided to go the road which has bent in the under growth and for this purpose decided he and after deciding this to go bent in the under growth way and miss the road which has not been trodden and after choosing this road he thinks lot of about that another way which has been adopted by many people which has been walked on by everyday people then poet comes in second stanza and starts to say then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim further poet is saying that then took the other means then again he started to think and adopted took the other just as fair and thinks that no no this road is the fair way fair path for him and having perhaps the better crime and thinking poet that this road will lead to on the better object of the life better goal of the life because it was grassy and wanted we are and then he decides that yes yes i will go on the bent in the under growth road and because and why because it was grassy and wanted we are because this road has covered with the lot of grasses bushes shrubs under growth and wanted we are wanted we are means should be taken should be traveled this road no one has gone now till so it is asking it is requesting or it is showing um, situation presenting situation to come on this to travel on this and thus wanted we are thou as far that the passing there had warned them really about the same that i'm saying that thou when 
narrator is passing through the rose which is bent in the undergrowth having the better climb and uh, wanted we are road then he is when he is passing through they are going on that road along with road had warned them really about the same thinking that this road is the same like that road because any road any path leads lot of roads leads gives um, riches on the goal of the person who, and goal is the goal you want to go here you may reach from any road and both that morning equally lay narrator is further saying there and both that morning equally lay means dono both roads are equally carrying to the same goal morning is here symbolizing the goal, symbolizing the goal means both roads will carry equally and equal time equally simultaneously on the goal in leaves no step had trodden black for the night is and in leaves means the road which has been covered by fallen leaves dry leaves and grasses and uh, undergrowth etc there is no step had trodden black trodden black means the mark of the foot steps when you walk on or go along on the road and uh, if their dried leaves are fallen has fallen there and you will step on those leaves those leaves will be crushed and thus it will show the trodden black that is the foot steps of the walker on that road on that step so narrator is saying that no in leaves no step had trodden blackness of the road which has been adopted by the uh, poet it's um, passing there etc gossip wanted that road which has been adopted by the poet has not been trodden blackness there is no footstep on that road means the poet is the all alone person who has chosen the different path from the society who has collected courage to go on the such road which has not been taken or traveled by the society before this the any other person and for the poet is showing oh that is the something sense of loss i kept the first for another day and narratory poet is saying that i kept the first far and that means when poet took the this way poet decided to go in this way bent in the undergrowth which has not been traveled by the people now till he is going on this and kept the another road here diverging the another road so poet is here saying that kept the first far and that means the that road which has been rejected by him that road has been saved safely kept or has been decided to go on another day when a poet will return from that untrodden untrodden path yet knowing how way well leads to on to way but poet is again showing the contradictory situation that yet here we knowing poet is knowing very well that how way well leads to on to the way means poet is saying that i know very well poet is knowing very well that when he has adopted the this road which has not been trodden now till poet has decided to go along this road and poet is also knowing very well that when anyone starts to go on another one way this that road leads another way means that road gives birth to the another next and next way thus the path the travel of the life will never end the same thing same purpose will present a lot of goals lot of greed there so poet is saying that he will not be able to be back for the first to go on another day yet he has kept the first road as option to become back to return back if he will not succeed on this way on this way and then to choose the to go through the to go along this the first way i doubted but poet is again saying that i doubted means poet has doubt in his mind if i should ever come back here if plus should this is the grammatical language and uh, this is the probability that is expectation hope so poet is saying that i am there is doubt in my mind that if he will be able to be back he will get chance any time to come back again for the purpose of going on the first way on another day so poet is saying that because the one way leads on to the way poet keh rahe hain ki ek raste par agar yadi aap chal dete hain to us raste se aneko raste branches jo hain raston ki sakhaye nikalti jati hain aur fir aadmi unme ulajh ja jata hai 
और कहीं ना कहीं उन हर एक रास्तों का लक्ष्य होता है ले जाने का मीन्स आफ्टर गोइंग ऑन दिस वे दिस पथ पोएट विल हैव नॉट ऑफ नो ऑप्शन टू रिटर्न बैक बिकॉज ही सिंग आई डाउट इट इफ आई शुड एवर कम बैक वाई कम डाउट इट बिकॉज वन वे लीड्स टू ऑन टू वे एक रास्ता अनेकों रास्तों को जन्म देते हैं एक रास्ते पे चलेंगे तो उसमें से एक नया रास्ता निकलेगा फिर उस रास्ते को नया कोई डाउट करते हो तो अनेक दूसरे ढेर सारे रास्ते निकलेंगे एंड दिस इज द डाउट इन द माइंड ऑफ द पोएट सो फॉर द पोएट इज सेंग दैट आई शैल बी टेलिंग आफ्टर सींग ऑल हिज प्रॉब्लम्स डाउट सस्पेशन एक्सेट्रा डिसीजन पोएट इज सेंग फॉर द कंक्लूडिंग लाइन दैट आई शैल बी टेलिंग दिस विथ अ साइड पोएट इज सेंग दैट इन फ्यूचर आई शैल बी बता रहा हूँ इन फ्यूचर आई विल बी टेलिंग टू द पर्सन टू द मैनी पीपुल विथ द साइड विथ द रिमोर्स साइग मीन्स या आह रिमोर्स सम वेयर एज एंड एज हेंस मीन्स फ्रॉम हीयर एंड फ्रॉम लॉन्ग एगो फ्रॉम हीयर बिफोर एज एंड एज लॉन्ग टाइम एगो टू रूट्स डाइवर्ज इन अ वुड मीन्स वेन आई वॉज ट्रेवलिंग ऑन अ पथ दैट पट सडनली डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट्स इन अ फोर्क शेप एंड आई आई पोएट इज सोइंग रिपीटेशन आई आई मीन्स द पोएट टूक द वन लेस्ट ट्रेवल्ड बाई एंड पोएट चूज टू गो ऑन द दैट रोड विच वॉज नॉट बीन ट्रेवल्ड बाई सम वन एंड रिजेक्ट द रोड विच वॉज द ऑर्डिनरी फॉर द ट्रेवलिंग इन द ऑर्डिनरी हैबिट फॉर द ट्रेवलिंग बाई द सोसाइटी and that has made all the difference and that choose that is the exact decision correct decision on the exact time means that is the adjustment between time and decision of the human being lead the all difference means made the poet famous through this poem poet became famous by choosing the exact path exact road this is the sense means the whole keynote theme of this poem by the written, written by the robert frost is that if person takes appropriate decision at appropriate time make it by making adjustment between the situation and uh, decision and the time then that person gets a success that person differentiates defeats each and every one and becomes overcome becomes victorious with the against the passage of time he becomes a famous he becomes successful in his life and achieves goal in his life this is the theme summary of the poem thank you